When I think of Votech. 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 I think of a safe haven. A safe haven where you do a lot of work, but um, it's good work. It's work you want to do. I think of long lasting friendships. I think of growing into myself and watching the people I love grow into themselves as well. I think of the four best, most formative years of my life spent in by far the most qualified place to guide me through those years. It's more than just a program, it's a community. I think of important life lessons that formed me as a human being. I also think of family. I also think of a community of people, of artists, who I am not only challenged by, but, uh, but want to work with for the rest of my life. I think of joy. I think fondly because when I think of Votech, I think of home. Home. The training there I received was unparalleled for your region. Uh, I'm gonna level with you. There is nothing like this in our area. The training I received there was the makeup of my foundation as an actor, the makeup of my foundation as an artist. The training I received there was transformative, life-changing. I learned that acting training is really about diving into who you are. Really, when you're coming from eighth grade, you're coming from middle school, you're used to being in these school plays, right? And you're kind of used to just learning your lines and getting up on stage. And you don't realize all of these habits that you've built up to kind of help you to fit in. It's kind of what you think might make you a little bit more likable. It's kind of your thing, but it's all on the outside. It doesn't come organically from you. Irreplaceable. I mean, unless you're going to like Juilliard at age 14, you're not going to find anything better. It's it's where that you would have like conservatory inspired training in an honors program in high school. There's nothing on this level in our region. Uh, it, it, it's this really kind of undergraduate college level training that you are going to get for free in high school if you audition and, and get accepted and you decide you want to go. Um, it, it's such a special opportunity. It's something I didn't even really realize until I was in college. And then especially when I was out of college and I was paying back my student loans for college, I was like, oh my God, I can't believe Votech is just free. It's just like a, it, at a public high school in New Jersey and anybody can audition and go. It's a really special uh, opportunity. It was challenging. It was definitely challenging. I fell on my face so many times, but it teed me up for drama school later on. And then for working as an actor professionally, I, I still see the payoffs of it every single day. The friends I made there are my lifelong friends to this day. A lot of friends I made at Votech are still people who I'm very close to. Some of my closest friends, closest creative collaborators and colleagues are people that I met at Votech. The friends I made there are not only lifelong networking connections, but my best friends, lifelong friends, family. I really feel close to a lot of the people I went to Votech with. I still talk with them daily. It's hard to drift away from someone who you've cried and laughed and been vulnerable with for four years in a row. The friends I made there are my best friends. I graduated in 2015 and I'm still friends with a good amount of them and we talk regularly. The friends I've made there became my collaborators. I had co-directed music videos, written songs, done photo shoots, like acted alongside so many different peers after we've graduated. And when we come together in those moments, when we come together and we talk about Votech, I laugh harder than I ever have in my whole life. <laughs> so yeah. I love them. They are so talented and compassionate and intelligent and I still keep up with them today. The kids that go to Votech are well-rounded, beautiful humans. And it's really great having friends who are all these things and share a passion that you do as well. It's amazing having a working relationship with people who I met when I was 14 and now we're 25 uh, and we're still working together. We're going on 10 years of, of collaborating on work together and we just have this like 
mutual language and understanding of like long-term collaborators, you know, it's a really amazing opportunity that you get by uh, going to Votech and getting to forge those relationships so early on. Because you guys share something that's lifelong. That's not just these four years, but that's your life. That's your love, that's your passion, and you guys grow in that together, which is really great. I think from a networking standpoint, like going to a county school really opened me up to the world and point of view beyond my hometown. I think sometimes like when you're from like a small town like Hillsborough, like you tend to stay there and you find your group and everything. But I'm glad that like my best friend was in Bridgewater and my other best friend was in Franklin and my other best friend was in Warren and stuff like that. And you, I, it gave me, it, it like opened me up a whole lot. The trust and the connection you have with the people around you at Votech is something you don't get anywhere else, and it creates lifelong friendships. I think entertainment in general takes a village, and Votech introduces that to you early through their exercises, and so the friends I've made there became some of my closest collaborators just because of that shared experience. I love my friends from Votech, and I miss them. My teachers were amazing, and to this day, it was some of my favorite people on this planet. My teachers were family. There was never a moment where I felt, these guys don't really want to be here. I never felt that, ever. And um, it really uh, makes me emotional to think about because that's, um, it's rare. Uh, it's rare to have mentors that want to be there, not for themselves or not for uh, a certain purpose, that whatever that may be. I really felt they were invested in me. It was so personal uh, in a way that you're lucky to get that. You're lucky to get that at this age, I promise you. And they wouldn't let you get away with anything, which was good, but they were always on your side. So you were always able to grow in a safe environment. I went on after Votech to get my bachelor's in acting in elementary education and then my master's degree in acting from Columbia. And throughout my entire journey post-graduating from Votech, the faculty still had my back. They still have my back. They still support me um, because they're that passionate and dedicated to you and your success. The most giving and unique teachers I've ever met. Before I even entered senior year, Joe would meet with me every single like two weeks. We would work on monologues. Paul after class would work with me on uh, monologues or something and Allison would answer an email in like 20 seconds and she provided me with so many vocal resources. I mean, every teacher just gave so much of their time. They're not only great examples of what a working professional is, but how you can be a working professional and still be so incredibly humble. My teachers were probably the most impactful teachers I have ever had in a classroom setting. And that goes for my regular high school and my college right now. They were the most fantastic teachers, but it was really a masterclass in how to treat people. It's a really special opportunity. You're gonna be working with the same group of faculty members over the course of many years, probably. Um, and so they're really gonna be able to track uh, your growth, you know, and say, wow, you've really had a breakthrough so three semesters ago. We wouldn't have been able to imagine this and look at how far you've come. And y you can't really say that about like your freshman year English teacher, you know, they're not going to be checking up on how your writing's coming along, you know, in your second semester, junior year. Not the case at Votech. At Votech, you're going to, they're going to be really kind of working with you every step of the way. So, and really like, you know, they're, they're, they're passionate about what they do, you know. Uh, they continue to be supportive and they'll still connect me with others well beyond my graduation day. Like I, I just spoke with Paul and we were talking about like stocks and he was like, yeah, like, let me set you up with this. Like, you should know how this works and everything. So it's like when you get these teachers at Votech, you have them for life. My time there prepared me for real life and I frequently say that high school prepared me for college, for test taking, for quizzes, but Votech prepared me for these other skills that have become so crucial in my time here at college. You're just gonna have this set of skills, you're gonna have this kind of like basically uh, early BFA college level training 
uh, that is going to have you really uh, just more equipped than most other 18-year-olds getting out of high school. My time there prepared me for being professional while still being creative. You focus in on your craft, but you also learn so many other things that when you get out here in the real world, and it's a little hard sometimes, that you have so many other things that you can rely on and still call yourself a true artist. Votech is the place that gave me all of the tools to be able to handle the toughest of situations in my life. And I think the most important thing was how to have good discipline, where you're always working on yourself in the best way and getting things done, which is something I try to practice every day. I work in music, film, and TV, and I was able to find success early, not only for my perspective, but also for my conduct. I think Vogue really enforced like discipline, conduct, and preparedness, like coming on time. Make sure you have your lines memorized. Make sure that you're coming in with a clear idea, a clear objective. I felt like that really gave me an edge inside my work and I'm still feeling that today. I left as a more connected version of myself. If I could do it again, I would go full on 100% and take as many risks as I possibly could. If I could do it again, yes, absolutely. I would absolutely do it again, 1000%. I wish I could do it every year for the rest of my life, and that's not an exaggeration. If I could do it again, I would do more. I would read more plays, and I would come into class with more things to try. I would have sang more. I would allow myself to take more risks and fail more. Because it's not about what happens, it's about how you respond to what happens. And I think Vogue gives people a safe space to do that. If I, I would tell 13 year old me to like, take that in. If I could do it again, I would have gone all four years. <laughs> Obviously that's like my biggest regret. And I would have done work that I didn't think I was right for. I would have chosen work that I didn't think I could get cast in because that's what the industry is about. It's about going in the room for something that is not typically for you and showing them that it could be and showing them that you're all right for this role, even if it's not what they saw. If I could do it again, I would shut up and just listen. <laughs> right now I live in Los Angeles and I'm pursuing a career in television and film and I have reps, I go out for auditions and it's really just a lot of fun. And I really give credit to Votech for jump-starting that and um, giving me a lot of necessary tools to do it. My name is Samantha Simone and I'm an alumni from 2011. I work on TV, off-off Broadway, voiceover stuff. I teach acting and performing arts. And honestly, it's all thanks to Votech. I'm still a working actor. I write a lot now. I'm making sketch comedy, which is awesome, uh, on YouTube. Uh, I'm also in a show that's gonna go up right when this pandemic ends. Now I am a double major in film and business management economics at the University of California, Santa Cruz. I'm a senior at Carnegie Mellon University. I am signed with an agency, so I am out auditioning and working on my showcase um, to prepare for what is this now new industry and figuring it all out from the ground up, as we all are doing, which is very exciting. I'm moving out to LA where I have an entry level position for a major studio lot and um, I'm working on a television pilot as well. I attend Ithaca College. I'm a double major in vocal performance, so opera performance and um, a pre-MBA in business entertainment for the music and film industry. My name is Sarah Urbechi and I'm currently a production assistant in the digital video department of E! News. I help with a lot of the live streaming for award shows, so Oscars, um, Grammys, Golden Globes, etc. I help with celebrity interviews. Marcus Garrier, I go professionally as Mosiah. I am a recording artist and um, actor and a writer. I was lucky enough in the pandemic, I got to go to Austin, Texas to perform in a uh, piece of socially distant immersive theater. 
called Art Heist. It was uh, a blast uh, getting to spend six weeks somewhere else uh, and just get to meet new friends and collaborators and get paid to act, which is still a thrill, still kind of surreal to get a, a, a paycheck, uh, a, you know, taxable income. It says actor on your uh, pay stub. That's it's, it's just exciting. To anyone that's considering Votech right now, you are part of a really difficult time in history. And no matter who you are, uh, I think you should be very proud of yourself that you are in this time that we're dealing with and you're still moving forward and you're still going after what you want. So please don't lose sight of that and uh, give yourself a pat on the back for real, for real. And I wish you the best. Thank you.